The buzz in military circles reached a crescendo on March 22, 2021, when the British government unveiled plans to transform 148 Challenger II main battle tanks into the advanced Challenger III. Central to this transformation was the decision to bid farewell to the trusty 120mm rifled gun in favor of the sleek 120mm smoothbore gun. For those less familiar with the subject, this move might seem like a bit of an odd choice. If we look back over the past two centuries, the prevailing trend in firearms has been all about those rifled barrels. While Germany and the US have long embraced smoothbores, Britain stood as the sole NATO member continuing to wield the accuracy of rifled ammunition. Then why did it make a shift in Challenger 3? The term rifle comes from the practice of rifling, a technique involving the precise carving of spiral grooves on the inner surface of a gun barrel. It has been a winner for a long time. But why are modern tanks opting for a smooth bore gun? a concept deemed outdated in the late 1800s. And when it comes to effectiveness on the battlefield, which one packs a better punch, rifled or smoothbore? In today's episode, we are diving deeper into this topic. Stick around for the whole video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments at the end. To truly grasp the significance of the Challenger 3's transition, let's take a historical journey back to the origins of tank warfare. Rifled barrels deeply woven into the fabric of firearms history for over two centuries served as the bedrock of tank weaponry during the tumultuous World Wars. Tanks like the heavy-hitting Tiger II and the formidable IS-3 were armed with rifled guns, leaving an indelible mark on military history. The advantages of rifled guns lay in their ability to spin projectiles through intricately cut spiral grooves within the barrel. This spin, known as gyroscopic stabilization, ensures the projectile's stability throughout its flight, enhancing accuracy over long distances. As a result, rifled guns excel in engagements where precision is paramount, particularly against heavily armored targets. The effectiveness of rifled guns is further amplified by the wide array of ammunition they can employ. Armor-piercing discarding sabot or APDS rounds, for instance, utilize a lightweight sabot to discard upon exiting the barrel, allowing the dense penetrator to strike the target with immense force. This combination of accuracy and potent ammunition has made rifled guns a formidable force on the battlefield. However, the landscape of tank armament began to shift in the 1960s with the introduction of the Soviet T-62 armed with a 115mm smoothbore gun. This marked a departure from convention, leading to the development of smoother bore tanks. The catalyst for this transformation lay in the evolution of tank ammunition technology. In the past, tanks depended on armor-piercing ammunition, leading to the need for continuously larger calibers to overcome advances in armor technology. This challenge was addressed with a revolutionary solution, the introduction of APF-SDS, armor-piercing fin stabilized discarding sabot, for smoothbore guns. Unlike their rifled counterparts, smoothbore guns fired projectiles that did not require spin for stabilization. The Soviets ingeniously crafted APF-SDS rounds featuring fins at the rear for stabilization. These rounds, unburdened by the constraints of spin, found an ideal companion in smoothbore guns. The result was a lethal combination that could pierce thick armor with unparalleled efficiency. Another feather in the cap of smoothbore guns was its versatility, capable of firing a broader range of ammunition types. High explosive anti-tank or heat rounds, for example, utilize a shaped charge to create a molten jet of metal capable of penetrating thick armor. This versatility makes smoothbore guns adaptable to a wider spectrum of combat scenarios, from close quarters engagements to long-range anti-tank fire.
Western tanks, sensing the winds of change, embraced smoothbore technology in the late 1970s, with the Leopard II leading the charge. NATO nations, one after another, succumbed to the allure of this technological evolution, adopting smoothbore guns as the new standard. However, the United Kingdom, with its penchant for tradition, initially resisted this shift. The UK's resistance to adopting smoothbore guns stems from a strong preference for Hesh, high explosive squash head rounds developed during World War II. Unlike traditional armor piercing rounds, Hesh excels at creating a powerful shockwave and lethal metal fragments upon impact. The effectiveness of Hesh rounds was intimately tied to the spinning motion imparted by rifled barrels. As the rounds spun, their performance peaked making rifled guns the weapon of choice for the British military. The UK envisioned its tanks not only engaged in tank-on-tank -tank warfare, but also supporting infantry on the ground. In this role, rifled guns, with their ability to fire high explosive and Hesh rounds, were considered optimal. However, the effectiveness of Hesh rounds waned in the face of technological advancements. The introduction of composite armor and spall liners diminished the impact of Hesh rounds, rendering them less potent against modern tanks. While other nations adapted to the dynamics of tank warfare, the UK clung to the comfort of familiarity. The Challenger 3's adoption of a smoothbore gun may seem unconventional, but it aligns with NATO's drive for standardization and unified capabilities across member nations, rather than being solely driven by performance considerations. Hence, the Challenger 3 embodies a convergence of tradition and evolution. The age-old debate between rifled and smoothbore guns reaches a crossroads in tank warfare evolution. The historical significance of rifled barrels is acknowledged, but the shift to smoothbore technology mirrors the evolving needs of contemporary warfare. Which is more effective? The discussion about rifled versus smoothbore tank guns isn't just about which is better. The effectiveness of each depends on the context, and while rifled guns have specific uses, modern tanks favor smoothbore designs for their speed, flexibility, and precision in addressing the complexities of contemporary warfare. So what do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments section below.